Hi, it's Paul from Meet the Coffee. I um, just wanted to do a quick unboxing of the One Z Presso JX Pro. Um, just give you an idea of what you actually get in the box with this one. Um, see how it differs, obviously, a little bit from the the, the JX. Um, but yeah, um, the box is pretty similar to the JX box. It's the same colour, same design, quite minimal as always with the One Z One Z Presso products. Got your your stickers on the side um, with a bit of obviously a bit of information about the product there um, the the size the weight um, model number etc um, telling you what color it is a light gray um, nothing nothing on the back it's all clear um, put the logo on the side um, and then they've got the, the slogan on, on that side and logo on the front, front panel, and obviously the top panel. So inside, you're getting when you open the flap at the front. And again, these are the same with all the boxes; they all kind of have the same kind of carton. All right inside this one, got a nice little bit of bit of secure padding there. Um, okay, now the. The grind setting reference card in this one, um, unlike I think the the Q the Q2 one, it's got it in English, and it's also got it in Chinese on the flip side. But this one's just clear; it's only got it in English, so that's a slight difference from the the Q series. Um, but it's still, you know, it's quite straightforward. You just got to follow it there, and then you know there's numbers at the top, so it's. You know, I don't think it really matters that much. I'm sure people know how to how to refer to that anyway. Um, the manual for this one is it's kind of obviously better material. It's more of a card, um, glossy, glossy material. Um, and again, with this one, unlike the Q series, this one is just in English also. But again, it's got it's got a lot of information there in pictures. It's quite clear and concise. Um, user instructions. Grinding the coffee, how to how to adjust it. Um, and just open this up. So it's got it on both sides. Disassembly, assembly, and then calibrating, adjustment, etc. Precautions. That's always nice to see. Um, and obviously some some QR codes for links. Um, but that's a little bit more straightforward, and it feels a little bit more premium. Um, obviously to relate with the price of the product. Um, but yeah, that's that's the manual for that. The actual product itself, it it's, comes in some protective kind of material there. Um, now you've got your brush, which is obviously double sided. Um, and I thought that these were going to be maybe a little bit harder on one side. It kind of yeah, it actually feels a little bit like a a harder brush on one side. Obviously, to get more into the the kind of the grounds if they're stuck there and like this is a little bit softer on that side I suppose but it's got a nice a nice onesie presso kind of logo there with the name and it feels obviously quite sturdy that feels like it's it's not plastic I don't think um I suppose I could take that, up, that open and have a look but it feels really quite sturdy that's nice um and then the product itself again you've got obviously you've got your hand knob which let me take this out it's got the the kind of squared off more they would say it's more premium handle it's a little bit more comfortable in your grip than the ball apparently um and again it's really sturdy material it's quite nice that that top nut there for the the adjustment is really nice um Again, this one obviously doesn't move; it's fixed, so that's nice and nice and sturdy when it's on there. And again, the same with the other products; it's, it fits into like a plastic insert. And I believe you can take these off. I've seen pictures with this ball actually taken off, so I don't want to do that because I don't want to force it, and you know I don't want to break this. But apparently, you know that's maybe worth looking at. I think you can maybe take that off. Um, so that's your handle. Um, you can take this out, this part comes off to get the product and this part here obviously fits in in the top part so it's a little bit more secure when it's in the box and it doesn't move around so that's nice also. Um, and then you've got 
obviously you've got your the grinder body. Um, let's just take this off. No, no, this this is really sturdy. It's very heavy. Um, obviously more heavy than the the Q series, and it's noticeably heavy. It's it's in your hand. It feels quite quite sturdy and, and, and quite a you know a heavy a heavy thing. Um, I don't know if people have a problem with that kind of thing, but it, it is what it is. Um, let me just kind of take this off also. Um, I don't know what to do, I'll just put this down here. And I just unscrew this. So this is obviously your, your coffee collector. And it's a nice sturdy, sturdy piece of, of aluminium there. I guess some silicone in there, they just keep it fresh, whatever. So, You've got that on that side, and then obviously your your um, adjustment dial is there, and I don't know if you can see that further down. Obviously, the burrs sit further down in this product; they're not at the top like the Q series. Um, so that is a difference also. Um, now, I don't want to go too much into this product and, and kind of talk too much about it because it really is just an unboxing. Um, I believe that this can come off, this, this rubber um, rubber sleeve does actually come off. And somebody pointed out to me, and I didn't know about this, but I got asked about this, Did do these products, the, the, the latest products have a uh, a longer sleeve, a rubber sleeve on there, and at some point I believe that Onesie Presso actually updated this product to include a bigger sleeve on here because people were asking for that. So yeah, I can confirm this. This definitely looks bigger than the original sleeve for these products, um, but it's nice. It fits really. I've got I haven't got big hands, I wouldn't say, but you know about average size hands, and it fits nicely in my palm there. There's no, not too much, not too little. And it's a nice grip it's nice and soft and, and it feels you know feels quite nice in your hand um but yeah that's that's your onesie presso pro right there um if anybody's got any questions as usual please you know drop me a line or whatever or put a message or you know just ask me any questions and i'll try my best to answer them but yeah excellent okay thank you for watching and have a good day bye bye